Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Hannah Martin, thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can tell from today's title, we are going to be talking all about my tattoos and I'm so excited to be doing this because I have such a love for tattoos. I think they are so beautiful and such a great way for people to show their personality and creativity on their body. So I'm super excited to be doing this with you guys, so let's get right on in with it. So how I'm going to be doing this is I'll post pictures for all the tattoos off to the side because some of them I can't really show you too well like this. But I'm just going to tell you a little bit about them, why I got them, what their meaning is behind them. So the first tattoo I ever got, I was actually 15. And I know that's extremely young <laughs> uh, compared to like the normal age of when you get them. But this one, um, the only reason I was allowed to get it was because it was for my mom and there were multiple of us getting that, getting this one, otherwise it would not have happened. Um, and it is just on my wrist right here and it says hope and then you can tell from the picture as well right here. Um, it basically, my mom has MS, which is multiple scler sclerosis, super hard to say. <laughs> Um, so in honor of her, um, she got it, I got it, my grandma and my great aunt all got it. And it just has the orange ribbon in place of the O. And that was the very first one I got. Um, overall, on a scale of like 1 to 10 for pain, it's super hard because like, even though they're painful, I kind of like it. <laughs> like, it's a very addictive pain. Like... I think a lot of people that have tattoos say that. It's something that like even though it hurts you like it and you immediately want another one right after you're done getting one. So on a scale of 1 to 10 I would say this one hurt maybe a 6, 6.5. It didn't really hurt that bad for me and you think it would because it's on such a tender part of the skin like right there underneath it is all your veins and stuff but it just didn't bother me. The, I will say though, the orange in the ribbon was more painful than the rest of it, but I've also heard that color is more painful than just plain black tattoos. I don't know how true that is, but so that was the first one I got, and it definitely has changed over time. It, um, the lettering used to be a lot more thin and a little bit more detailed, whereas now that I've had this one for almost four years, it has definitely like started to get. Thicker. I don't know. It's super weird, but it's definitely changed. But it's still the, the color, the pigmentation of it, I think is great. Moving on, the second tattoo I got, I was, I believe, 16. And this one as well had a super important meaning for me, and that was another reason why I got it. And it is on my other wrist, and it just says priceless. And this one goes along with such a bigger meaning, but... Um, the main reason I got this one was for my love, really, of the band for King Country. They have this whole thing called the Priceless Movement, and if you've heard of them, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've never heard of them, I highly encourage you to look them up and figure all this out because it is amazing, and I think everybody needs to hear it. And it goes along with the fact that women are priceless and deserve to be treated like they're priceless. And they have a huge campaign on stopping um, uh, human trafficking and working with that. And it just was something that really um, resonated with me. And it was something that was super important to me and still is super important to me. So I knew that it was something I wanted to always have as a reminder. And especially like this, I can just look down right at it and see it. And I would say, same for this, on a scale of 1 to 10, the pain was about a 6.5. Honestly, probably more of like a 6 because I knew what was coming, so it didn't bother me as much. Also as well, this one, it used to be a lot thinner, I noticed, because I actually, when I was looking back at the pictures, I noticed how different it looked as far as how thin it was when I first got it. And now it has like bled wider, so it looks thicker. But it still, I think, looks amazing. The color of it is still super dark. I think the place I go to, I have uh, the same girl do all my tattoos. I will not let anybody else do them because I trust her so much with them. I think she does an amazing job and I, I mean really, I can't complain about any of the ones I have because they look amazing. So moving on, the third tattoo I got is actually right here and inserted here is the picture of it. 
and it goes along with the priceless one and it is the date and I had talked about this in my video talking about why I wanted to do music was that on uh, January in January of 2015 I had seen for King Country and had this huge mo moment in my life where things had changed and that date goes along with it and it really is just super important to me because it's showing me how bad things got and how far I've come since then and how much I've changed and grown and not only is it that date but I actually had Joel Smallbone the one of the lead singers in the band I had him write it out for me when I had saw him one time and so it's done in his handwriting which is super special to me and something that I cherish cherish so much and love and I couldn't be happier with the way it turned out I think it's beautiful so that's that one I would say on a scale of one to ten this one probably hurt about a seven and a half that one did hurt a little bit more um just right there being on that bone it it was painful <laughs> um I think it kind of looks the same as when I got it done I don't really think it's changed too much but it is definitely out of all of them probably one of my favorites I love it a lot I was 18 when I got this one so I had kind of waited like a year before or like two years before I got another one moving on um the next one I actually got three done the same day because two of them were super small so I was able to do that and it not be super painful <laughs> um but these ones kind of all You'll kind of notice all my tattoos except for the hope one stick with the same symbolism and meaning and I had gotten first on that day I got the um, semicolon on my middle finger on the inside of it which I'm sure the majority of people know what it is and it's the symbolism for depression and talking about how you could have stopped your life at one point but you didn't and you moved on from it which is when you have a semicolon uh, when you're writing stuff, you pause and move forward. And so that's kind of what the symbolism for that is and why I wanted to get it. So I love it. I think it's so beautiful. And I will say the this one, and I have another one on my finger that I'm about to show you. Uh, the ones on the fingers, they do. I've had them touched up now. Uh, since I got them done, they fade very quickly because you're constantly rubbing your fingers together, washing your hands in water, like, so I will say, um, just be cautious of that and have it in your mind that if you get one on your finger, it probably isn't going to stay super nice for super long. Um, but they don't look bad, like, they still look good, they just have definitely faded since I got them. Moving on, the second one I got that day was a rose on the inside of my middle finger on my other hand. And this one, I have wanted a rose for so long. And I just liked them. I thought they were super pretty. And I, one day, when I had been, I started working on my music, I, because I liked roses so much, kind of wanted to incorporate it into stuff. And I had found out that roses symbolize new beginnings. And I thought that that was kind of fitting for me because I'm moving forward in my life and I had started a new beginning in my life, a new chapter. And so I knew instantly that that was something I had to have was a rose tattoo. So I got this one. This one definitely out of all of them was the most painful. I would give it like a nine. It was bad. It's right there. And even this one, I know that it's literally in the same spot in another hand, but it's so tiny that I didn't even feel it really when it was happening. Whereas this one, it, especially when she did the stem, she did it all in one take and it was right there on that bone. And I could literally feel a tear going down my cheek because it hurt. It was so painful, but so worth it because I love it so much. So I also, I don't know if this is everywhere, but I have heard and read that if you want finger tattoos, they can't be your first tattoo. So if you're someone who's wanting to get a tattoo on your finger, I would just double check and verify that that's not a rule or anything because I don't know if that's everywhere, but I did see that that at one place you couldn't get it as your first tattoo because they're so painful. Moving on, my final tattoo I have is on my rib cage right here. And it is this one right here. <laughs> and as you can tell, it is just a line of elephants walking. 
and my grandma had actually sent the picture of the tattoo to me uh, because if you know me, I am obsessed with elephants. I love them. Everything about them, I am obsessed with them. I have them scattered throughout my room. Like I have um, one of those wax candle burners. It's an elephant. I have just an elephant statue. I have another one over here. Like I love elephants. And I had read that the meaning behind elephants basically is that they have wisdom and bravery and strength and I thought that that was something very important to me in my life and I also had read that while they are such these big majestic creatures who are so strong and so powerful they always travel together in groups because they know they need one another and I thought that that was something very important to me because I am the type of person that I feel like I constantly have to have it together and I always need to look strong and be strong and I don't want people knowing my weaknesses or faults just because that's how I am but knowing that made me realize that I do need people in my life and need to have groups and friends and family around me to help me and keep me strong and rooted in things so that's definitely the main reason why I got that one. I'd say on a scale of 1 to 10, the pain for this was probably about a 9 as well. It was very painful. I normally, when she was giving me, like when she did all my other tattoos, I would talk, make conversation, laugh, joke. And on this one, I literally just had to sit and focus on breathing because it hurt. And I was laying on my side and I had my arm up and you could like, so naturally my bones are sticking out a little bit more anyway. But it was definitely painful. <laughs> Um, I think anybody who has rib tattoos will agree that they are some of the most painful tattoos. <laughs> but yeah, so those are all six of my tattoos. Um, I definitely want to get more in the future. I love tattoos. Like I said in the beginning, I think they are such a great way to show your creativity and your personality. And I think they are just the most, some of the most beautiful things. So I definitely want to get more. I have more planned already that I want to get in the future. So I will definitely do an updated one when I get more tattoos. But yeah. So let me know down below if you guys have any tattoos. What your favorite tattoo was that I showed. Um, what type of videos you'd like to see as well. Also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Connect with me through social media. I have all my social medias listed down below. And I'd love to connect with you guys through there. I do connect with you more on social media. So make sure to check me out there. Also down below I have listed my discount code for SandCloud, which is a wonderful company where proceeds go towards helping save marine life and save the oceans, which is very important to me. I love animals and I definitely want to help keep these oceans clean. So check that out. You'll get 15% off using the code HANNAMAR15 at the, at the checkout. <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!